we are going to head to our New York studio, where we're going to be joined by Jeremy Kaplan, who's standing by with Pierre Nibar of O Garden. Wow, that looks impressive right there. I already want one of those, and I haven't even heard the interview yet. Uh, let's go ahead and head out there. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Jeremy and Pierre. Uh, and you are, what you're staring at and ogling it with such envy is the O Garden. We have Pierre, the founder of the O Garden, to tell us a little bit about what the heck is going on here in our New York studios. Thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. Uh, why don't you tell our, our viewers what exactly we're looking at here? Yeah, actually that's uh, interesting to know because it's, you know, seemed a bit strange at first. So this is an indoor garden, which is uh, kind of the best indoor garden that you can find because Actually, in this tiny stuff, you can grow up to 90 veg on the same time. So it means that you harvest daily stuff um, in a very small garden. So, and it's absolutely automatic. And if you're wondering about uh, how easy it is to set something like this up, keep in mind that we are here on the 18th floor of an ordinary uh, office building in Manhattan. And Pierre and his colleagues brought this up and set it up, and here we are. So obviously a little bit heavy, perhaps, but obviously not unwieldy and, very, and it's fairly straightforward. So we're, we're talking about urban gardening here, right? That's exactly, the vision? Exactly. The, the, the concept behind that is to, to try to reach more sustainability for people, you know, to, to be more autonomous, uh, to, to open the possibility of saying, like, I grow my own veg. And what it means, it means, of course, I make economy because it's cheaper, mm -hmm. but as well, uh, I do have a positive impact on herd because no transportation, no storage of the veg, nothing need there. And yeah, we become more autonomous. I think it's something that resonates with a lot of people in cities like New York. Uh, you, just carrying into the office, a couple of people said, what is that? I want it. I need it. <laughs> Um, so we, I think we all understand the, the, the fun of growing your own vegetables, but also the need for something like this. Yeah, exactly. So actually, yeah, it, it's an activity which is very funny and... Um, Probably very rewarding, too. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to, I have a place, uh, I do a little gardening myself, and I know that the challenges one faces when gardening are myriad. I mean, getting the soil correct, uh, moisture levels, plant foods and everything, it, it feels kind of overwhelming and so something like this is kind of an answer to people that are overwhelmed but exact exact this is actually one of the main reason we we've built that because we've created actually th this stuff don't look that like that but there is an artificial intelligence on oh, really? this uh, o garden and it manage everything for us so you do have uh, the auto watering and the light switching on and off and everything it's regulated by a little computer actually inside. So it means that basically people just have to push the start button and it works, <laughs> you know. I don't know if you can see on the camera because we're kind of focused on the top of this, but the, this is a rotating drum that sits on a base station which has the motors that run it. And what else is down here in, in the lower? Yeah, place? of course. I, I can actually show you. The, this is the, the place that we start the babies, you know. So of course there is a kind of water tank here to manage all the watering system. And over here, it's the place for baby. We, we didn't bring uh, here, but, you know, just to show you. Here, can you hold it up to the camera? So yeah, of see? course. So this is a kind of pod which contain everything. So you have the soil, you have the fertilizer, you have everything the seeds will need to grow. And basically, the concept is just taking this stuff, which is actually very clean as well, you know. You just, yeah, take it. <laughs> smells like dirt. What would you expect? <laughs> so we we just place this stuff on the 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 place here on the 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 tree over there, and it will grow. When it will like something like three inch high, you know, we just take it, pluck it, just place it on this kind of box. This is the modules that sit inside. Exactly. So we just have to place that, close the box, click the box on the wheel. That's it. And so this is, I don't know if you can tell because it moves very slowly, but this is actually plugged in and running. So this is rotating at a very slow pace yeah. uh, to expose the different plants to the, to the Exactly, growth. exactly. And actually there is several reasons. Um, the main one was for the light, but as well for the watering system. And something very interesting is because of the moving, 
it reproduces the kind of the wind that we can find oh, okay. outside. So it brings fresh air to the plants. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of work behind that, you know. <laughs> kind of genius. And uh, so the other thing that's, I think, pretty fascinating here, you guys just launched this yesterday on Kickstarter? Yeah, absolutely. So we, and actually, it was crazy. You know, we, we launched it like 20 hours ago. And we raised already up to uh, $150,000 US, you know. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, in 20 hours. It's crazy. We, our, our fun goal was, uh, was it in five minutes. Oh, five minutes until <laughs> the fun goal. So there's definitely a demand for this. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Pierre, I, I have to ask you. Yeah. Um, this is not the kind of thing that I would have thought of, I have to say. And I, again, I've gardened a lot. What inspired you? What got you started? Tell me about you. Of course. So, actually, um, this is my fourth company. Oh, okay. And before this one, I was uh, on a foundation, uh, and we was working a lot for envir environment and uh, sensibilization okay. of people for eating healthy, um, taking care of the planet, natural, etc. And in this foundation, like many people was requesting, we want to have something on the city that we can grow our own veg. Please say, do something, you know. So I say, okay, I get the challenge, and I start to work on the on this stuff, and then you know it's it's here. <laughs> this looks like the work of not a couple of months, though. You you must have been working on yeah. this for years. Yeah, I, actually, at the beginning, I, I thought that it was like. Yeah, in six months it will be done, but <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no, uh, we spend like three years. Right, well, yeah, right now it's three years that we spend just on building that, uh, making some try, be sure it's working well, adjusting many, many different things to, to not have something that it's just super sweet to use, you know? So if somebody's interested, they can get it at Kickstarter, search for O-Garden. Yeah, yeah. I, I, absolutely. Go on Kickstarter, search for O-Garden, and just right now it's like the best deal ever. So if you want to raise one, it's really the best deal ever. Like it never happened a, a such great deal uh, for, for, for life. <laughs> uh, one of the things that I have to ask you, because we, we've seen a lot of Kickstarter projects that have struggled, it's yeah. a challenge to manufacture things. People don't. People get excited by ideas, and then they don't realize building something is actually hard. Yeah. How uh, close are you guys to manufacturing? When do you plan on okay, shipping? Okay, th this is a great point. Uh, you, you have to know that he, he, this is the 2019 or garden, but actually we are building our garden from 2016. So it's almost three years now that we are selling product. Oh, okay. And actually, the production is already running. So we, we are not at the level of a startup yet. Like we are launch, launching a brand new one, Ogard and Smart, but we already sold a lot, a lot of okay. Ogard and we already do have our own factories running, you know. So people can have faith that if they put money in you, you'll actually do it. Yeah, yeah, product. it's like for sure. Actually, there, there is uh, 700 Ogard that are coming like next month you know, uh, the new one, so they are already uh, made. So tell me about the smart part. You said it's got artificial intelligence built into this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, th this is the reason this one's name, Ogard and Smart. Ogard Smart. Uh, because, yeah, we develop uh, uh, an intelligence that will know when it needs to be watering, depending on different factors and uh, the, the age of the plant, so home tall they are, so how many water they need, uh, about the light as well. So here, actually, I don't know if we can see well on the, on, on the screen here, but there is all a program and basically it manages everything, you know, and you just have to play start and yeah, we, we do have a big software behind that. Okay. Hey, w one question I realized I have no idea. Where does the water come from? Do you have to water it yourself, or is there an integrated system? Yeah, so you are, we do have to fill up the water tank once a week. Okay. And then there is a different pump system that will go on and off different, depending on the time, etc. Sounds like you thought of everything. <laughs> yeah. And then you sell uh, kits with the actual plants themselves, right? That You said you showed us the little 
yeah. soil pods. Exactly. So and that has seeds directly inside of it. Exactly. So uh, in, in fact, we we do sell the the pod we uh, empty, so you can choose every kind of seeds you want. Um, and we as well have some seeds. Everything we do offer it's organic, so the seeds are organic, the soil is organic, the fertilizer is organic, okay. and uh, yeah, th this is the the this stuff that you make economy with that actually, because you just have to buy this little pod of soil, and you will have a bunch of veg that grow just for the cost of a, a little pod. <laughs> Of course, some things better to plant than others. I had, uh, like I said, I've gardened a lot, and uh, squash, for example, yeah. explosive plants, probably not the right thing yeah, to grow of in course. something like this. <laughs> but lettuce seems to work great. Broccoli, yeah. kale, actually, a yeah, lot of leafy veg, some basil in there. I see. Yeah, herbs. We do have as well some little fruit like cherry tomatoes, okay. strawberries, and we do have as well dwarf um, bean, green bean, white bean. So yeah, a lot of things like that. Well, it's great. Congratulations on the Kickstarter. Congratulations Thank on the O Garden Smart, a great product. Again, you can find it at Kickstarter. Uh, and if you're looking for something like this, now is the time to get it because Kickstarter projects go away and then the cost becomes probably a little bit more. But anyway, very neat stuff. Thank you very much for Thank joining you, us. Jeremy.